Hi, my name is Tony Roten. I am a gardener and a mentor. And I realized several years ago that gardening and mental health really go hand in hand. Kefra Bean. And the thing I'm going to talk about today is actually something that I talked with my children and my whole family about on Sunday. And it's going to sound like a weird question, but it really is going to piggyback off of what we talked about last time. <laughs> and if you didn't, if you don't remember what we talked about last time, just go back. They're all right below in this in this group, that's what that you're on this group for is to, to learn and to, if I might be able to mentor you, then I would love to do that. You can contact me via private message. We can schedule a session and I can help you move along in your journey. But we're going to talk about this very question. Like I said, it's going to be a, a little unique in itself of asking this question even, but who is holding you back? Who's holding you back? I, I was, I woke up in, on a, uh, when it was, oh, it was Sunday morning. I just woke up and it was around probably 4 a.m., 5 a.m., something like that. And I got this, this message, this inspiration that said, you need to stop letting people hold you back. I was like, what? People holding me back? Who's holding me back? And then I started asking that question over and over again, allowing my subconscious to work on it. And the more I did, the more... Names kept coming to me. And some of those names were family members. Some of those names were friends. Some of those names were past cohorts. Some of them were... Uh, uh, can't remember the name of... Colleagues. There we go. I guess that's kind of the same as cohorts, but... Anyway, so I wrote down... I'm not going to... I'm not trying to divulge who they are. Uh, but... You can see I have my list of people. And on that list, I wrote their name. And then I asked the question, why are they holding me back? Or how are they holding me back? And I'll just tell you one thing that, that was interesting. Is one of the names I put down there. I, I said the name. I, I mean, I wrote the name down and I said, well, how are they holding me back? And this was a thought that came to my mind. You need to forgive him and bless him. Okay. Then, and, and I, as, as soon as I heard that, I knew exactly what I needed to forgive him for. I knew exactly the thing that was sitting on my mind and frustrating me that was holding me back. And I didn't realize it. And this is the analogy that I brought up with my children. So here's me. And I'm trying to get to my goal over here. Or, or whatever. It might be doing my business. It might be, you know, just health. It might be, you know, a physical goal. A achieving something. My progress has been slow. Like doing the, these videos and stuff like that, I love doing it. But for whatever reason, I always would just, oh, it's just like, once I got on doing them, I was like, yeah, this is awesome, this is fire. But it's that initial step, it, I was always kind of held back. I'm going, are you serious? What's going on? Well, that's where this inspiration comes from. And then I realized all of these people that I had written down. And let's just kind of draw these little people everywhere. 
these are the people in my past. They, they may even be current people that I interact with, but they're still in my past. Or the, the situation that I'm dealing with is in the past. And what's interesting is I, I'm taking this way to attach whatever's happened in the past. I've taken a, a rope, essentially, and I threw it and I lassoed them. And I threw this one, and I lassoed them. And I threw this one, and I lassoed them. I, I've got all of these lassos around the people that have upset me somehow, or just I'm not dealing with something, or I wouldn't forgive them. And then I said, well, what if each of these people represents 100 pounds? You know, each, each one represents 100 pounds. And I've got a lasso around each one of these people. And I'm pulling all this weight. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six hundred pounds that I'm pulling behind me. Literally, I'm pulling them. Because it's if, if I can't forgive them, if I can't move forward, no matter what I think, I am not progressing like I, sh I will be able to. Because I've got these lassos around. I've chosen to throw that lasso out, get it around their neck, and pull them with me. And in this, in, in this instance, it was for doing something that didn't even affect me per se, but it was still bothering me. And I was creating this resentment and this frustration and it was hurting this relationship. And the interesting thing is this other person didn't even know I had this frustration towards him. This person didn't even know I was essentially kind of sabotaging the relationship. And I didn't want to get close with him. Because I thought, Ugh, you know, he did this and that made me mad. Here's some others. Is, uh, th this young man is somebody, again, that... I don't even really know the guy, but I've seen how he's treat other people. And I instantly created this dislike or this distrust. Well, now we're going to even say, how many lassos have you thrown out that, and I'm guilty of this, it's somebody political. Somebody that you just, you, you disagree with there. Every, you know, idea they have, you disagree with. Every thought they have, you disagree with. Every action they take, you disagree. I mean, you just disagree 100%. But you've taken, you've thrown out that lasso, and you've yanked it tight, and you're carrying that weight of all his junk because you've allowed him. You have made the choice to get frustrated and to oh make that anger and to function in anger and frustration or start posting negative stuff on social media about him or or her or whatever and it's a political figure somebody you probably have never even personally met you've seen him on TV you've you know read memes about him you've read documents and yeah you might disagree with what they're doing but to the point where you throw a lasso out and you hook them and you allow them to hold you back from pursuing your goals and your dreams, you allow them to, you, you choose to get angry at them. You choose to take that anger throughout the day and start spreading that poison and telling people that, oh, this guy, oh, and you just go on and on and on about him. Well, when you're pulling this, let's just say he's another 100 pounds. Now I'm up to 700 pounds. Well, in this case, in my case, I had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 people that instantly came to mind. So I'm pulling oh, not 1,200 pounds. I'm lugging 1,200 pounds 
because I'm choosing not to move forward. I'm choosing not to let go of this negative feeling that I have towards them because I feel very validified. I feel validated in the sense that they did this. I, it's, I have this right to feel this way. I can be angry. I can be upset. I can choose to ignore them and take them out of my life. Even if they might always be in my life because they might be a family member. Well, it's a weight holding me back. <laughs> and I was like, oh my goodness. This just blew my mind. It opened up my mind. And so I sat all of my children down. And this is what we did for our Sabbath on Sunday. And we talked about forgiveness. Because is any of this junk, the, the, the things that they've listed here, is any of it their problem? Yeah, they might have done something, but they've moved on. I mean, one of these persons, it's been, he's been out of my life for over 15 years. But yet, I, I still have some resentment. And this was a gentleman, I'll, I, will, I won't say his name, but I will use the story. He did some repairs on our house, and we hired him, and it, it I, I will say, Matthew, it's not you. Matt, we loved your work, but, because <laughs> there are some, some, we've had several repairs. But this gentleman did some repairs, some major repairs on our house, and he expressed extreme confidence in his abilities and in all his staff. He, he just raved about how good they were. So I was like, okay, yeah, I trust you, I go with you. But throughout the years, and even immediately done, there were things done that I'm going, that doesn't make sense. For instance, tile, that you might have a gap this side on one side of the tile, I mean this much on one side of the tile, so about a half inch, and on the other side, you might have only an eighth of an inch. Well, I've looked at a lot of tile, and that's rare that I see that, that kind of stuff. Well, I was choosing to get angry. I was choosing to, every time I would see that, I'd be like, oh. And I've talked about this before. When I do that, I'm just stacking that anger in there. And if that was a plant, and I just kept putting pressure on top of that plant or ex expressing anger, I would kill it. Well, that's what's happening here. But instead of it killing me personally, it's killing me from achieving my dreams. If I allow that much negative energy, though, it will kill me personally. It will cause me to be sick. It will cause me to have aches and pains and all kinds of different malady, 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 maladies, maladies, <laughs> problems. <laughs> and so it is important for us to unlasso because it is not their deal. They don't even know that I have these lassos around them. And so it's my responsibility to go out and to unlasso these. You know, I'm, I'm letting go of these ropes. No more. They're, I'm not carrying that weight. Forget that. That's craziness. And I'm letting go of all of these, these weights. And how I did that and how I am doing that is some of them, if they were still alive and it was important for me to connect, I actually sent them a text or I called them or I messaged them through Messenger if I didn't have their personal phone number or something. And I sent them a, a forgiveness. I, I asked for forgiveness. I wrote a, a statement that said, I really screwed up. I've been hurting this relationship for years and you had no idea. And I allowed that to get in the way and I'm not going to do that anymore. And I'm sorry for the way I've treated me. Will you please forgive me? Now, I'm not necessarily ask. I mean, I'm asking them to forgive me. But if they choose not to forgive me, that's between them and their deity. However, once I started letting go of these lassos, once I started truly letting go of them, I started to feel immediately... A peace, a, a, 
a sense of prosperity that it's like I'm doing the things that are really now going to help me to achieve my goal, my dream, my vision. Whether that's, you know, like I said, a new business, a new car, whatever it might be, I'm going to be able to do it a lot easier because I'm not carrying the 1,200 pounds. I'm not pulling it along. And if you want to try that out, you know, just write the names down of the people. I want to challenge you. Do that right now. Ask yourself, who are the people that are holding me back? And then ask yourself, how are they holding you back? And most of them, you'll be able to realize that it's really just dealing with you. That it's nothing to deal with them because they don't even know you have this much frustration or resentment towards them. And then I want you to imagine that each one of those is a 100-pound weight. And you stack that up. And you imagine either carrying that load on your back everywhere, day, night, you're walking with it, you're going to church with it. I mean, everywhere you go, you've got this 1,200-pound weights or however many pounds you have. Even if it's just one person and that's 100 pounds, let go of that 100 pounds. And and start moving forward with a lot more energy and excitement. And what I also realized is now once I started letting go of these lassos, (laughs) the thing that was amazing is then I actually did get some response back from some of the text and the messenger messages I sent back. And they let me know that, hey, you know, it's all cool. Thanks. I love you. Appreciate it. Now, instead of being a 100-pound weight, they are now a 100-pound force moving me towards my goal. So they're pushing me and encouraging me to do my goals. And as soon as I let go of that weight, that's what I felt like all of these were. They were all pushing me. They're all encouraging me. They're all supporting me. Even if I didn't necessarily hear a connection from that person or that individual, I didn't get a response back. Even if I didn't get that, I still felt this push from behind. And it could just be the fact that I finally let go of this weight. And it's like if I'm pulling and I let go of that weight, it's like, whoa. That instant release was felt. And so this is a powerful exercise that I wanted to bring to you today and to challenge you to do this. Because I guarantee you, guarantee you, that you have people in your life that are holding you back. They're either holding you back from a dream. They're either holding you back from a a vision. They're either holding you back just from being yourself. Being your bubbly, happy, cheerful self. Or being this, the person that you want to be or you don't know how to be. Or you maybe you don't even know who you really are. Because you've been tied and you've been carrying so much weight because you've lassoed around them. And they may have lassoed around you even. And so you guys are really pulling at each other. But if you let go of your lasso, their lasso has no more strength. And... The more you let go of these lassos, the more joy and happiness you'll get in your life. I, I, pr- I promise, just do these exercises. They're simple, but they're, they're powerful and effective. So I want to challenge you. Here's the challenge this week. Sit down with a piece of paper and do it now. Don't say, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. Oh, I'll do that today. Even if you're at work. Because you let go of this weight, you're going to be more productive. If you let go of this weight, you're going to be able to move forward better. If you let go of this weight, you're going to be able to fly like a bird, in a sense, because you're not having this weight. So write your names down. Then ask yourself, how are they holding me back? And you'll know. It, it, it's, it's like your subconscious knows everything. It's been with you since birth. So it's got your whole life all right here. All right here. And so when you ask, you know, how is it this person holding me back? It will come to you. And then you can ask the next question is, 
If you're not immediately certain what to do, then say, what do I need to do to let go of this lasso? And it will come to you. And some of these is like, I just need to forgive her. I need to bless them. I need to uh, just, I, I need to make the personal choice that their choices can will not hurt my family. I need to allow myself to allow other people to live their life the way they want to live it, even if I don't agree with it. And even if somebody is connected with somebody toxic, I still need to show love and and support for that person because they're still in the life. And if I'm putting out toxicity, that that we put out will come back in some way. So if I'm encouraging, if I'm supporting, if I'm loving, that will come back to me. I I need to, you know, here's one, that this young lady, she doesn't even really know me, but she just kind of irritated me. You know, those people just irritated me. And said, she's a good woman, and she's had a tough life, and wants the best for others, and is doing her best. Well, that was, to me, it was just like a confirmation that she's doing what she can. Where she's at in her life and the challenges and struggles she's gone through in her life, she's doing her best. And it was a lasso that I was choosing to hold on to because I, she frustrated me. The, the way she did something, I don't even remember right now what it was, but it was just kind of that personality trait that I was like, mm. But when I let go of that lasso... It was like, why was I holding on to that lasso? Just because I disagreed with either something she said or did. Or, I, it's, it's really ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. And then the, the person who did the construction work. 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Why am I holding on to a lasso and I'm pulling that along 15 years ago? That's ridiculous. Why would I be doing that? It does not make sense. When you really logically think about it, it just makes no sense. So do this exercise. And I'm going to write it out here right now so that you, there's no question whatsoever of what you're supposed to do. And here it is. Step one is to write the names that come to you. So who is holding me back? Write the names that come to you on paper. Step two, how are they holding you back? How are they holding you back? What 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 is it that's gone on that they're holding you back? Now this is not about them. This is about you because you're choosing an attachment to them, and you're choosing to throw this lasso out to bring them along in your journey, and to actually it's not even bring them along. You're dragging them, and so write the names that come to you on paper, then ask the question: How are they holding you back? And then the third thing is to, if you don't know the answer immediately, is then to say, how can I let go of the lasso? How can I let go of the lasso? What is it I need to do? And it might be a text just saying, hey, forgive me. It might be a full letter. It might be a write and burn where you write down your frustrations and, and just get it out of you and you don't actually give it to them. It might be, <coughs> excuse me, I see a text letter. It might be, you know, through Messenger if you don't have the contact information. Or it might be the exercise that we've talked before, which is having an unfinished conversation. 
And if you don't know what that is, you can go to my website, gettotheroots.com, and look, look that up in the videos. I have over 154 videos there that you can find all kinds of different techniques. But in that, you'll have unfinished conversations. So these are all kinds of different things that how you can let go of the lasso. Once you let go of the lasso, allow yourself to start moving forward towards your dreams. If you're struggling, if you're struggling, you're having a challenge letting go of that lasso, contact me. Send me a private message. Let's set up a mentoring session and see what we can do to help you really move forward in your life. You can send me a private message here. You can contact me through gettotheroots.net and move past any blocks that you may have been having and help you with your garden, help you with your garden of life, help you in all aspects. I look forward to engaging more and doing these videos more. But remember, you're amazing. Believe it. Have a wonderful day.